Hey everyone, it's Scott with Dallas Sound Guys, and today I want to talk about the idea and the concept of a mix minus, and uh, how and why you would need to use this. Um, for when I've needed to use this, it's when I'm doing a hybrid event, and so I have a live event. We have someone on stage speaking to an audience, yet we also have a presenter who is speaking through a Zoom call or something similar to that, and we need to send the program or the main mix out to an audience um, on YouTube or whatever, however it's being streamed, whatever you know platform it's being streamed on. So it gets a little deep. Let me see if I can explain it easily. And, um, and if you have any questions about this, uh, man, please just let me know. I hope this is helpful for you as it's been helpful for my clients. If so, hey man, leave a like uh, for the video, leave some comments and we can keep the conversation going. So the reason for a mix minus is that as you have someone calling in, say on Zoom, if I send the full program mix or the final mix back to them, they're gonna hear themselves and there's gonna be a delay. So I think we've all experienced that. We're not looking for that. So. First of all, because we have a live audience, the mix number one that I have would be a typical mix where the people on stage with their microphones are speaking to the audience. I'm mixing that. That's going to, to our audience so everyone can hear. We also have a person calling in, say on a Zoom call or whatever the platform is. We need the audience and the person on stage being able to hear that. So that's simple. That's just another input that's going in. Maybe there's some videos that are being played. That's fine, that's typical, that comes through the mixer and it's going to the main PA. So what do we want to hear in the main room? That's gonna be our presenters. We need to hear the video. We need to hear the Zoom caller. Okay, but what are we sending to the Zoom caller? And that has to be everything except them. Because if they hear them coming from us, again, there's gonna be a delay and it's gonna be really difficult for them to have a conversation while they're hearing themselves, you know, a half a second or whatever the timeline is later. So on a, on a bus send, the X32 that I use has uh, 16 buses. I create a mix where it's everything except the Zoom caller that I am sending back to Zoom. That way they can hear the video that's being played and they can hear all the presenters. They don't need to hear themselves because they're speaking. So we take them out of the equation and that is the mix minus. What is the third mix? The third mix is what is being sent to the computer that's being broadcast. Now it may be that it's exactly the same as what the program mix is in the room. So you might not need a third mix, but you might. Um, I have an event that we've been rehearsing this past week and next week is the actual hybrid stream where it's a very small show. Um, we have people sitting behind what looks like a news desk that are speaking. They need to hear the person coming in through the Zoom call. They don't need to hear themselves. There's no live audience in the room. So I have um, a small speaker, uh, a QSC K8, that is letting us hear the people that are coming in from Zoom but we don't hear the people live in the room. So that's a separate mix. That's on a different bus. <laughs> so what am I doing? I'm sending out to Zoom. That way our streaming audience can hear. I'm sending to a speaker, which is the person coming from Zoom only. And I'm also sending out to a camera record, which basically is going out to the stream. There's three different things going on. Uh, I hope I didn't confuse you and I hope I didn't confuse myself on that. It's really fascinating to do that, to have multiple things coming out, but to have multiple outputs. That way everyone can hear what they need to hear, but they don't hear what they don't need to hear. Now when using a bus, think of it similar to if there was a band and the lead singer needs to hear a mix. They need to hear in their monitors what they choose. They may need to hear the drums, and some guitar and themselves, and that's it. They don't need anything else, whatever that mix happens to be. But that mix is different than what the audience is hearing. Now the drummer may want to hear something different, so that's a different mix. It's the same concept. It's just you're sending out perhaps to Zoom, you're sending out to your 
PA system, if there's an audience or just in the room, and then um, you're also sending to what the Zoom caller hears. You just want to take out the things that are going to cause problems so they only hear what they need to hear. It's really not that difficult once you get into it. And um, again, if you have any questions on this, please let me know and uh, we'll keep that conversation going. Is this something you've run into? Is this something that you would that you need to do um, and you didn't know how? Uh, well, let's get you straightened out. Let's get you where you need to be so that you can help your clients' events, whether it's strictly uh, a hybrid or if it's just a Zoom call. Uh, we'll get you exactly where uh, you need to be. Hey, thanks for checking in on this. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate your interest in the channel. Um, basically, a lot of this is I just wanted to spend some time talking about my inventory and the things I have um, because I find it interesting. I'm hoping other people find it interesting, but to also, of course, share some, some real case uses where a person's like, how do we get this to happen? Um, because it doesn't make sense. And then I'm able to have a solution for them so that it makes sense and it works. Something that seemed um, that they weren't going to be able to do that I'm able to come up with something where they are able to do it and get them to where they need to be. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll keep this conversation going, and we'll see you next time. Have an awesome day. Take care.